Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett. Many of you have been watching live coverage this morning of special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony before Congress. We want to let you know that coverage will continue shortly, but during the break in testimony, we are bringing you an early edition of News 4 at noon, and we start with a quick recap of some of the main points brought up during Mueller's testimony this morning. Former special counsel Robert Mueller was sworn in before a packed House Judiciary Committee Wednesday where he faced questions about his report led by committee chair Gerald Nadler. So the report did not conclude that he did not commit obstruction of justice. Is that correct? That is correct. And what about total exoneration? Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. In his 448-page report, Mueller outlined 10 potential acts of obstruction of justice by President Trump, but declined to state whether the president broke the law. Nadler and other Democrats tried to show any other person besides the president would have been charged with a crime, while Republicans accused Mueller of overstepping his duty. It was not the special counsel's job to conclusively determine Donald Trump's innocence or to exonerate him because the bedrock principle of our justice system is a presumption of innocence. Republicans also questioned whether the investigation was politically motivated. You can charge all kinds of people who are around the president with false statements, but the guy who launches every, the guy who puts this whole story in motion, you can't charge him. I think that's amazing. I'm not certain I, I, I'm not certain I uh, agree with your characterizations. Mueller mostly stuck to yes or no answers during the hearing and often responded to questions by referring to the report. The report is my testimony and I will stay within that text. President Trump tweeted ahead of Mueller's testimony calling himself a very innocent president. He repeated his refrain, no collusion, no obstruction. It's unclear if today's hearings will change any minds on either side of the political divide. Nicole Gillian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.